James Lincoln. I'm a science teacher, and I'm going to tell you how to do science fair projects for middle school dealing with your body. One experiment you might want to investigate is the lung capacity of your body. Different people will have different lung capacities depending on their age or size, and here's how you can check it. Take a large tank or large supply of water, you might want to use a swimming pool if you have one, and get a large jar and fill it all the way to the top with water. Invert the jar underwater and thread a tubing under it and then inhale into that tubing and you can measure how much air you've breathed out. You might need more than one jar to make a complete measurement. Another simple experiment is changing of height whether you're standing up or laying down. You might not even know that your height changes when you're standing up or laying down. It's a very small difference and it's difficult to detect. It's easier to detect it on tall people. Here's another experiment you can try. Measure the rate of breathing of a person relaxed by counting the number of breaths that they make in a minute and then measure the same person breathing into a bag. A paper or a Ziploc bag is fine. You may be surprised to find out that you actually breathe faster when there's more carbon dioxide exposed to you because carbon dioxide is the signal to the body that it's time to breathe faster. Another important diagnostic tool for medicine is the resting heart rate. You can measure your resting heart rate by counting how many times your heart beats in a minute when you're relaxed. Measure it at different times a day and for different people. Even try animals or people of different ages. You can invent any experiment you want and it's an easy one to do. Another experiment that has to do with measuring the pulse is to do exercise and then see how quickly your pulse relaxes after you do that exercise. For example, you might want to do 20 or 25 jumping jacks and then measure how many times your heart beats the first minute after you're done and then measure how many times your heart beats the second minute after you're done. The more fit you are, the less your heart will beat in the second minute compared to the first. One of my favorite experiments is the foot to height ratio. You measure a variety of people's heights and a variety of people's feet length and compare them to see if foot length is a good measurement of how tall a person is. That is, can you guess how tall a person is based on the length of their foot? And then you do a blind test. You measure somebody's foot length who you don't know how tall they are and see if you can guess correctly their height. Good luck with these experiments and thanks for watching.